I'm sure my mom was just trying to protect me. Now that there's only one of us left, I thought it was time I heard the stories. You are Edith Finch, a teenager who returns to her family house in Washington State after her mother's death. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. What remains of Edith Finch is all about storytelling. It is a walking simulator where you explore your family's house, looking for clues to understand what happened to your family and why you are the last Finch alive. There are no puzzles or challenges whatsoever, no weapons and no choices. It's all about exploring and unraveling what happened to each of your deceased family members. You explore room by room going through secret passages and slowly learn more about a supposed curse that has haunted the family for generations. Each room is beautifully designed and reflects the distinct personality and spirit of each inhabitant. When you approach a key object within the room, the narrative branches to reveal each member's tragic story through their own viewpoint. You relive their final moments in an immersive experience that ranges from the uncommon to the fantastic and surreal. It's a two-hour single-player game to be enjoyed by players who love vibrant imaginative stories. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. 